My name is Hans, and I wanted to share my, uh, my experience or what I learned over the years uh, with, with roaming, and more specifically, uh, what I learned about 11R, because it's not a magical thing. Your network has to be ready to make sure roaming works. Uh, if you have a bad design, um, your, your roaming will not work as, as expected. Um, there's some information about me. Now, what I did in my home, I tried to simulate uh, a, a practical case. So I, I created a network with Ruckus, um, and I had a, a WPA3 enterprise network, uh, but I did not enable 11R. So just to, to test what I do, would do um, in my case. Now, in my case, at the ground floor, I have an AP on the, on the ground floor. I have an AP in my basement, which is my training room, and that's where I, I tested this. So I ran a roaming event, and that's the result. So as expected, uh, it did roam, it did a reassociation from one EP to another, and the total time it took from my reference point, where the first authentication frame was, until the end, which is my uh, foray handshake, it took me 616 milliseconds. Now, if you want to do real-time um, applications like, like Voice or Teams or something, you probably want to be below, way below 150 milliseconds. So, well, I need to find something to, to solve this. So, well, let's get back to the, to the, to the state machine, uh, what, we, what we learn in CWNA courses. We have to go through four stages, uh, state one, state two. We need to do association, authentication stage. Uh, but it's, it's most of the time it's state three. State three, that's the one that's taking us a long, a long time because we have to connect to our, to our um, radio server. In my case, I use the Jump Cloud uh, server. Um, once we're connected, once we're authenticated in state three, we have to run the four-way handshake, and then we have an, uh, an active connection to the, uh, to the network. So this is, this is where you see the, the timing. So from the moment I start connecting, I start communicating with my radio server in the cloud, that's where I jump from 72 milliseconds all the way to 612 milliseconds. So that's where the, the, the delay is, is happening. So I need to speed things up, but, well, <laughs> I'm going to run 11R now. And I was hoping, OK, that 11R is going to be smooth now. I'm going to be at, at 5 or 10 milliseconds right where, I, where I want it. Well, um, let's, let's first get back at the, at the standards. This is coming straight from the standards, the 8.11 uh, 2020 version, where you have two, two options. You have 11R over the air, and you have 11R over the S. Um, over the air is the default one where the, the originator, actually the, the client, is going to commu communicate with uh, the target EP over the air. So that's what I want to accomplish. Um, and you can see it in the, um, in the beacons. So the AP announced, hey, I can do over the air, uh, because over the S is set to zero. Well, how is this flow going? Well, you're communicating with the current EP, so you have your data flow going on. Everything works fine. At some point, your client decides, well, I I want to go roaming. I want to do a roaming event. Um, you hit the green diamond where the client says, OK, this is the API I'm going to roam to. And then you're going to do the fast transition authentication request and response. Now, these two frames are, are um, that's where all the magic happens, basically. Because these frames, they contain your four-way handshake, basically. Because the idea is that we, we, we put all the information in these authentication frames. Um, so we, our, our nonces, our authenticator, and our supplicant nonce will be in there. So we don't have to run a four handshake. And we can generate the PTK already before we, uh, um, we run the re re association request. Once that's done, we can have the reassociation request, reassociation response. And I don't see a four handshake. So I shouldn't see a four handshake. Um, when I do this over the air roaming. Now this is when I had 11R enabled. You immediately see there is a four-way handshake below. So someone went wrong. Here, remember reference, and there, it took me too long, it's 458, uh, 468 milliseconds, so that's again above my 150 milliseconds, what I want to achieve. Where did I go wrong? What did I, what did I miss? Um, I had something wrong. Now, this was happening with my, with my MacBook here. 
So um, we we heard earlier yeah, roaming with with Max. Um, so I have a, a this is an Apple Silicon. So it should do 11R. Why didn't it do 11R? Maybe something wrong. So it's on the packets. So if your packets if it's in the packets, yeah, then it, it must be true. So I checked it. Reassociation request. It did 11R because it was in there. So, well, then I did a survey. That's, that's my ground floor, and that's my basement. So there is primary signal strength enough on 5 gigahertz. And I checked my offset. So I checked with my, with, my, with my Mac, saying, OK, on channel 112, I have a signal strength of minus 65, while with the sidekick, it had a signal strength of minus 57. So there was an ATB offset. I did a few measurements, so I applied ATB uh, offset there. Now, now I see a problem on my, on my stairs. I want to focus on the basement here. On the stairs, um, I do have a, a problem with primary signal strength. So, well, then I want to look for the roaming, where the roaming is going to happen. Yeah, again, we heard before, minus 50, 75, that's the one where you, you happen to have a roaming threshold. But, well, I also need to have 12 dB uh, stronger, typically, according to the uh, documentation. But maybe my secondary signal strength is not enough. So let's dive into the secondary signal strength. And there's my big problem. I don't have enough secondary signal strength because one EP on the ground floor, one EP in the basement, they don't see each other well enough, so I'm having a problem there. So I add one AP in my basement, so I, I do have... Um, and this is signal strength, the primary signal strength with offset. That's the secondary signal strength with offset. So I should, it should work now. So let's try this. There's my reference. And there's my reassociation response. And no forward handshake. So basically, I did my roaming now in 8 milliseconds. So hooray, I've achieved what I want to accomplish. Yeah. So, so what I want to get there, um, check for your clients. If your client can do 11R, um, check your offsets because maybe your 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 client has a um, has an offset that, that's bigger than you expected. Check for your green diamond where you see the roaming events, and check your secondary signal strength because your network has to be ready. If your design is wrong, you cannot fix it with a with a, with a configuration. So that's it for me. Um, now we do have a small gift gift here. Uh, at the end, when you go to the stairs, uh, we have some bells and chocolates to give. So uh, everyone that's going out for dinner, grab some chocolates and enjoy.